Sitting dormant just two hours out of Melbourne, this typical wheat belt railway station hasn't had a regular passenger service since the New Deal rationalisation of 1981. I happened to have a spare afternoon whilst visiting a different nearby country town and knew that there was a special service terminating at this station. So, even though I'd already been there a few times before, both on and off a train, I thought, sounds like the perfect way to fill in some time. Hello and welcome back. We are at the train station and this is a very impromptu video, but we're gonna check out what we can of the station. You see there's a train there, so it can get a bit noisy. Looks like the toilet block in here. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Just check out the paint peel on the wall as well. Pretty cool if you ask me. And someone's already littered. Uh, we can't get in that door, but we can look through the window. Whoa. There's a bit there. All right, I can only get the camera in so much. cool inside of the station and although I definitely could get through this window I'm not going to not with this many people around but I'm afraid that it won't get shut afterwards so before I leave the station I will make sure that the window gets properly shut wouldn't want the station getting vandalised. <laughs> now, here's an interesting part of the station. This track right here, it's pretty safe to me for me to be standing on because it's not connected anymore. But, back when the 
solely a broad gauge station. Uh, they wanted to create a standard gauge track. So they put it back here. It was the terminus of standard gauge for a while and then it's been recently re-extended to Mildura. But this is the old standard gauge track through the back of the station. Not too many places you see that, at least not in Victoria. Old waiting room in here. Moldy looking ceiling. And we can sort of do a sneak peek through here. That's about the best I can do. Right, it's a little bit noisy here. But this is the passenger platform. That's the room we were looking at before. And this is a better view through glass. Small levers there to adjust points and signals and such. Further along the platform we have this little building, which is sort of separate. Pretty sure this was just a storage shed. But, yep, you can get a good idea of what was around. I want to see if that light bulb works. Nah. Damn. Nice old switch. Look at that. Moving on. This is just a V-line cruise place. And I realise it's very noisy. see there is where the standard gauge track used to branch off well the old standard gauge track I should say and go back behind the station Right, the one room we missed was this room. Oh, I would test if that I would test if that light worked, but there is no light. But what I can tell you is that this power point right here does indeed work because I saw someone using it before. But very nice old room, fireplace. and storage room back here. Cool. Down on this end of the station, we've just got a standard shunter shed. Uh, if we go over the other side, we might be able to see something. Maybe not. Oh, it's a bit quieter back here. Oh, hello. Well, <laughs> so difficult to get in. This is a shame that it's getting destroyed like this. Probably a combination of just natural decay and a bit of vandalism to just push it over the edge.
All right, do you see that shed that's got no roof really on the other side of the train? That's the good shed. And I think I'll wait for the train here to leave because it's due out in about 10 minutes. I think I'll wait for that to leave and then I'll show you a bit of the good shed. Maybe we can get inside the station as well when all the people disappear. We'll see. Okay, welcome to the good shed. It's not a whole lot to see, but an open roof acting as a skylight or whatever. It's interesting. Oh, when I was here about two, three years ago, there was a track through the middle of where I'm standing now, and there was a random grain carriage or grain wagon that was just sitting here and yeah I think that this may be something that came off of it I mean I know it's not from the grain wagon itself but because that looks like some sort of locomotive plug but anyway Good shed. Yeah, <clears throat> the grain carriage was moved when it was anticipated that this whole area would be changed to standard gauge, standard gauge only. And while that's still technically on the cards, it's sort of been indefinitely postponed. So anyway, 
the grain wagon made it out. It was here for years. Don't know what happened to it. Probably got scrapped. This right here is, I think you call it a cistern. I might have the terminology wrong, but it's basically a water tank that's sort of recessed into the ground. And yeah, it just keeps it cool. I just checked and can confirm that it is indeed full of water. And you've got a separate normal water tank there. All right. Everyone's left, and I got back in. Well, not back in, but you know what I mean. Wow, take a look at this. It's the isolator board, and I dare say there's still power, but, you know, I dare not touch it. I mean, I can hear the power running through it, but oh, I don't know. I just don't want to touch it. So this would have been where the tickets were sold. Wow. Old TV. Got no idea when this was last used. As a building, that is. Look at that. Old school fuses. Wow. It is eerily quiet in here. It's really eerie. Wow. This newspaper. May 2014. So that gives you an idea, I guess, as to when the building was last used. But yeah. Very cool. office space huh 
that very much looks like a door that's been blockaded by whatever this is. Oh. Shit. Don't mind the massive hole in the floor, just there. Okay, so we couldn't get into those two rooms there, but we got into everything else. Okay, I've convinced myself. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Just wow. <laughs>